One thing I really like about the USG Sheetrock brand paper face metal corner bead is it does have a beaded edge. See how that outside edge is slightly raised up? I like that because when I'm filling it with joint compound, I use that to screed my trowel across and it's just high enough so that I'm able to build up compound to hide the edges of this corner bead very easily. With a tape on corner bead, I like to attach that after I put my embedding coat on. In other words, all my seams are coated, all my inside corners have tape in them. The reason I like to do the taping first is because as I'm bringing my knife across for this or across for this seam, I'm not interfering with this outside corner. The corner goes on last and it goes on nice and clean. So I'm going to run it through the hopper. Get some compound on it. Now I'm ready to roll this corner into place. Once I get done embedding this, you'll see what I mean. You'll see the reason why I like to attach this last. It just laps right over that. Doesn't interfere with anything. It just is a, is a nicer way to do it. And these short areas, these short little seams, I've got extra compound in my pan at this point. I can just fill that with the compound while I'm right here. Very quick and easy. What I have here is like a three-way outside corner that I have to put corner bead on. So I'm going to dry fit these pieces first before I apply them. Uh, because you're really not supposed to lap corner bead. But I want it to pr fit pretty good there. So I'm going to just take this top, this edge here, I'm going to cut it to the lathe. I'm cutting it a little tiny bit longer because it does protrude past it a little bit. And then I'm just going to 45 this, these corners. Check it, check my lathe. The length looks pretty good. I'm going to do this horizontal piece. 45 that. Now I'm going to put these two pieces on and then I'll be ready to start the long run here. The beauty of the tape on bead is you can make little adjustments. I'm going to embed this lightly then I'm going to make any adjustments I need to because it can, it's easy to move around. If I don't like it I can take it off. Okay I've got that looking pretty good but you know another thing I like to do? I'm going to stand back and take a look at this. See, it? does it look level? Then I'm going to stand back here and look at this vertical. And I can see that it is slightly off level, just by eye. That top has got to come out. I like that. Now I'm going to put the long piece on, which I'm going to use a 10-footer. So I'm going to pre-cut that angle and dry check it for, as a dry fit, the first. I like that. So now I can run this bead through the hopper and put it in place. I'm going to stick it up there and then I'm going to come over here and, and check my uh, lathe. Now before I do anything else with that, I'm going to actually put another 10 foot bead on. Roll that in. I really like the way all those points lined up, so I'm happy with that. And I can see a little, little bit of imperfections in that. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get my staple gun. And you can see, as, as you look down through here, 
This is off a little bit. And this is in just a little bit. So I'm gonna try and line this up better and then maybe I'll pull this bead out just a little bit. And I'm gonna staple it where I want it and that staple will hold it in place until the compound dries. Now let's go back here and take a look at it. That does look a lot better, a lot better. Now, I just wanna see if that's up and down right there at all by standing back here. This, this corner goes down right here too, for some reason. But see how I've got a little bit of play in it? I'm able to just push it up. Now you might be thinking, oh my gosh, really? You've gotta make these little adjustments. But after the bead is on, I'm able to make these adjustments. If this was a metal corner bead or a nail or screw on one, I'd have it already on, then I would notice it and wouldn't be as, I wouldn't be able to make these little adjustments. So even though it might seem a little cumbersome to do, it is um, easier to do with this bead than, than with any other bead, actually. 